So this video is kind of like a part two or a follow up to my last video, telling more about the story that has kind of unraveled over the past few days um, about the brand new Minecraft cape. So for me this all kind of started a few days ago on the 11th of August 2022 um, and I was scrolling through NameMC um, when I noticed in the cape section that there was a brand new cape. Uh, which is kind of surprising because capes don't often come around that much in Minecraft, especially ones as unique as this. Um, and the cape had no owner attached to it and um, was unidentified, didn't have a name. Um, so with a little bit of research I found that the cape belonged to LolFoxy2 and that's about where my research kind of ended. So I made a short video showcasing the cape and the owner which got a lot of attention relative to my normal viewership. Um, and because of this, it meant that far more capable people were able to uncover the, the full story of Minecraft's latest cape and comment in my video about it. So firstly, a comment left by Yilliger gave a baseline story explaining how a Mojang staff member had given LolFoxy2 the cape after solving their migration issue. Uh, also giving us a name for the cape, calling it the Valentine Cape, uh, which I thought was weird because why give out a cape called the Valentine Cape at a time of the year that almost couldn't be further from Valentine's Day. But regardless, a few days later I received another comment on that video from Mineral Noodles, who unbeknownst to me was dedicated as heck to learning the full story of the new cape. So Mineral Noodles found that LolFoxy2 had actually befriended a Mojang staff member on Minecraft Dungeons, even adding them on Discord and their own Minecraft server. Uh, LolFoxy2 was apparently an old account, and his main account had had problems migrating. Because of this, it seems the Mojang staff member may have given LolFoxy2 the cape as somewhat of a compensation for not being able to migrate their main account. So Mineral Noodles wasn't even done yet. He wanted to know the name of the Mojang staff member that LolFoxy2 had befriended. He found their conversation on Minecraft Dungeons, and he confirmed that they had befriended each other, and he also learned the name of the Mojang staff member. Also, just in case, I just want to say, don't send anything to the staff member, any messages, good or bad, I don't, I don't care, just, it's not necessary, so, yeah, don't harass them. But anyway, according to Mineral Noodles, the cape was removed from LolFoxy2's account by Mojang, um, with LolFoxy2 himself even backing this up later, however, NameMC hasn't reflected this as of the creation of this video. But anyway guys, that's everything I know about the brand new Minecraft cape. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about the whole situation. Uh, thank you for all the views and comments on the last video. Um, for anyone, any new viewers, I uh, hope you found this video interesting. And for my regular viewers, I hope uh, you enjoyed something a little different. Uh, but anyway, that's all from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters!